Consumers looking for unique items are turning to digital marketplaces. The German portal Davanda is one of the most successful. Here, over 2.5 million items are up for grabs, most of them handmade. Susanna Hu from Berlin fashions dresses and bags, dreaming up all the designs herself. Two years ago, she quit her secure but dull office job, and now she actually enjoys her work. The 29-year-old sells her collection through Davanda. There's no one telling me this and that must be finished by 7 p.m. I can decide for myself what to do next. That's worth a lot, more than having a steady income. Davanda specializes in unique and handmade items. Young designers use the platform to present their collections. Davanda's customer base is largely female. Claudia Hemig and Michael Putz founded the Berlin-based startup in 2006. It's now a booming internet company which employs 150 people. Helming tells us what inspired her to create the portal. So many artists and creative types make items that you just don't find in big shopping centers. The problem is, if you don't know these artists, then you can't find their products. So the internet is the optimal solution. With sales exceeding 4.5 million euros a year, Davanda is now the world's second largest marketplace for handmade goods. US-based platform Etsy is the market leader in this booming trade. Tom Hansing, a sociologist from Munich, is monitoring the trend towards doing things yourself. It's about creating a counter-economy and developing practical ideas about how it can function sustainably. These are real experiments, not laboratory ones. The lab is the city and the community out there. The experiment has paid off. In the fall of 2012, Davanda expanded into Poland, Spain and Italy. The platform takes a 5% commission on each item sold. But Claudia Heming is focused on more than profit. We're making the world a better place by ensuring that consumption isn't driven by a few big brand names who don't always produce their goods in the most worker or environmentally friendly conditions. Instead, we offer locally made fair trade. Customers are attracted by Davanda's handmade wares. And it seems many of the online portal's shoppers like knowing they're getting more than just a product. It's far more interesting to buy something that has a history, where you can establish a relationship with the person who made it. You can assume it's been created with a lot more love and attention to detail than a mass market product. Susanna Hu certainly gives her creations that personal touch. Every buyer receives a personal account of the product's history. The designer can now live from her online sales and has no plans to open up a store of her own. I don't want to go to trade fairs and supply goods to vendors. That's not my aim. I like this business model of producing for and selling to customers directly. From office worker to independent designer, Susanna Hu is living her dream. Schiff says thumbs up for crafts.